And hello there, Marco Miniman here, and I'm at Sweetwater Sound, which is a fantastic facility. Everything sounds great, people are super nice, and there's lots of, ge lots of gear I want to take home. And um, anyways, the reason I'm here, though, is because I'm rehearsing with my new band uh, that I have together with Randy McStein, fantastic singer, guitar player, and multi-instrumentalist. And we recorded two albums, McStein and Miniman, and McStein and Miniman 2. And we're already actually working on the third album. And we're rehearsing here at Sweetwater with uh, their own Nick De Virgilio, which is a fantastic multi-instrumentalist as well. And Mohini Day, uh, an in incredible bass player and dear friend of mine for many, many years. And we're rehearsing for the Cruise to the Edge and some more music festival activities and tours. Yeah, you know, um, I was told to say who I played with, so I'm going to drop some names. So I played with Joe Cetriani, Stephen Wilson, Nena, Necrophagist, Creator, and probably many more. Eddie Jobson, UK. Oh, I have the Aristocrats! My band, the Aristocrats. That's uh, pretty much my main band, and we're going to go out on the road actually in uh, June, July, August, and September, I think. And all right, what I'm going to show you right now are a few tips and tricks for limp independence. And here we go. So here comes my internal click, so to speak. I kind of set a tempo that I'm comfortable with or that I think, you know, I can groove on top. And so let's do like, okay. Here's my pulse basically, right, for that groove. So, and then I start with the right foot playing eight notes on the kick drum, okay? So, okay. So when I'm relaxed and I can still feel that pulse and the tempo and I'm able to talk over that pattern, I can add the second element which would be the left foot let's play eight no uh eight triplets okay okay yeah so i breathe normally i can talk therefore i can add other elements how about let's say four sixteenth notes on the snare drum with the left hand Okay, I can still talk over it. Let's do quintuplets with the right hand. Okay. So that's a pretty difficult independence exercise, but I kind of gradually build it up. And then, you know, what you could do is take some elements out and soul over it. That's when it becomes musical. So let's kind of, you know, stick maybe with the kick drum and then the hi-hat, okay? So we have like, right? And then you go, okay? And then try to improvise on top of it, just like rudiments or melodies. And then you can do like an accent with the foot. Maybe like open it with the heel every second time. Ah, so that's fun. I did this on the spot and then we do the same thing. Stuff like that, you know. So I basically try to play as musical as, I, musical as I can over these patterns so that it doesn't just become an exercise. But it's fun messing about with these things. Another exercise which is cool, maybe try to free the hi-hat, you know. Play like, you know, 16th off, like double notes, like... Ooh, da -da, da -da, da -da. 
da, da, like a thing, you know, like an element that is not featured that much in modern music, you know, but which I think is really cool. It's like what you usually would do with a shaker or a tambourine. So if you do like, for example, two, three, four. Right? So the one would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you start soloing against that element, all right? So. And here's the sliding heel toe technique again, all right? So that's actually kind of a cool thing, just to kind of have one element going. So now I showed you all four limbs being independent and then soloing against two elements and one element. So possibilities are endless. And uh, the final thing for today, I'm gonna show you something a bit tricky, which I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's, I like the risk factor. So I like trying things on the spot. So what I have in my inside of my head, first of all, when I solo or come up with these exercises, I kind of often think of melodies inside of my head, what I would do with my guitar or any other instrument that I play, you know, on top of it and compose music to. I envision playing a double paradiddle between my feet, then putting a groove on top of it and then modulating it into a triplet feel. Uh, I can hear it inside of my head, so that means I would be able to translate it. So the pattern would be going like... Oh, uh, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, okay? Do a little bit faster for the, for groove sakes. So the pattern itself would kind of go if I would play it between, let's say, a hi-hat and a snare drum. Aha! Okay, let's modulate it to the feet, okay? See? And down. Okay. Thank you for listening. <laughs>